Good evening, folks. I'm the FJ45 Owners Club. This is Toyota Matt. And um, I decided to do something differently tonight because I have something different to offer up. A very unique part. And I thought a little tech video would probably answer a lot of questions and save a lot of text typing for explanations and stuff. But uh, this is something I have not come across before. So I'm trying something different. We'll see how it goes. But before we do it, we'd like to brought to you tonight by Voodoo Cruisers. Voodoo Cruisers is a sponsor of Vintage Tech Parts and our activities here on MUD. Okay, so what we have here is two, four, six, seven, eight uh, locking gas caps for FJ45s. Um, You'll notice the part number is 77310, 651, fuel tank cap FJ45, one piece. You'll notice the box, let me get the light right, four Toyota General Parts. On the side, Toyota General Parts. On this side, let me get the light right here, four Toyota Auto Use. And again, General Parts. So, and four Toyota Motor Use. Um, I estimate these boxes and caps to be from the early to mid 70s and each cap comes sealed in plastic well with a staple and comes with two TEQ keys interestingly enough if I could get the light right here you could take a peek at that it says for Toyota motor use. Again, that word for. Um, but that's a hell of a nice TEQ key. And there's no key code stamped on the shaft, which you typically see on this era key. Um, the cap's a good design. It's got a nice, sturdy rubber locking cap on it. And it doesn't want to come off. It snaps on. The keys go in and they engage the locking mechanism, which let's see if we can get it to go in and out. See it? That's the locking mechanism on the cap. Um, so it's unlocked. What I have here is a smaller late model uh, fuel, uh, fuel filler neck, which is proper for this cap. And we'll notice that. It goes on and it engages just fine. Um, the EPDM seal is, it's thick, man. It's like, a, it's like, that's like 3 16ths. What is that? Four millimeters, three millimeters? That is thicker than a um, non-locking cap. Um, my experience with this type of cap is, it's a non-vented cap. A vented cap would have a valve mechanism down here. I don't see any air hoops or air holes or inlets. However, um, I will use my Professor T10 pointer here. Though that air, that uh, gap in the rubber there, and that one also, let me get that right, try to get that up close. The gaps at the top and the bottom, that typically is for the venting and the air escape, but I don't see how it would go in except for the locking mechanism. So I'm going to rule on the safe side and say these are non-venting caps. When I see a short stubby one like this, it's non-venting. So let's put this on again in the, in the non-locking feature. Uh, turn it, we engage it, we lock it. Put the cat weather cap on and look, sucker's tight. It's not coming off. Um, it doesn't rattle or anything. trying to do my best to operate the camera here, unlock it, and it comes off. Smooth as can be. Um, at first, I thought, first thing I thought is probably what maybe most of you thought, these are counterfeit Toyota caps, counterfeit Toyota genuine parts, but after much thought in the era they were in, you know, all these countries, and th these came from Egypt, um, the Saudi spec region, and during the era of these boxes and printing the caps were 
Um, you know, Egypt was run by a dictator. I don't think Toyota was running parts orders into Egypt in the late 70s when, you know, there was civil wars and unrest and stuff. I think a local company in Egypt was simply commissioned to make um, dealer sourced locking gas caps to fill the need. That You know, the trucks came in and then Toyota bailed. Um, you know, there's a long story about that, but, you know, they flooded the truck uh, Middle East with vehicles, but they didn't really have the service and backup. Um, when I worked for Toyota, when I was younger, they had what's called uh, dealer accessories, and they were sourced in the USA, like, um, uh, uh, what's the, the cheap fog light company? They made this cheap set of Toyota fog lights, and it had, like, American packaging on it. It said, made in the USA, like, Sylvania or something like that. I think that's what these are. Um, I have out, I have ruled out the counterfeit topic. If anyone's going to counterfeit it, they're certainly not going to say for Toyota use. And they're not going to say general parts. They're going to say Toyota genuine parts. You know, for Toyota auto use. And it's clear as day, for Toyota auto use. So it's clearly distinguishing between a Toyota genuine part. Although it's, you know, it wanted to look like one. Um, the Middle East people are proud and they like color and flair and you know, and, and uh, regiment. So, you know, these could have been issued on an army base. These could have been spares for the 45s. Um, so that's my take on that. And I have some facts to back it up. Um, each cap comes sealed in plastic with two keys. Um, and they're all the same. Still the same thing. Toyota Auto Use, Toyota General Parts, FJ45. Now, 77310, 651. Hold that thought, and I'm, we're going to approach the, uh, I screenshotted these on my classified ad, so bear with me one second. I'm going to turn down the Black Angels, and we're going to look at a screen here. Okay, I want you to look at these part numbers right here. Okay, ready? 77310-610, less valve with key. 77 3 I'm sorry 77 to 611 less valve with key. So 77 310 goes to 77 31. Now, take a look at the bottom here. 77 so 77 031 610 less valve with key. Same thing. 77 310 611 less valve. I'm sorry. Um less valve with key is 611. Now, I span these production dates from um, 9 of 71, where, where the mouse is here, all the way to 1 of 78. Now, why an FJ45 pickup truck doesn't require a vented cap, I do not know. However, I've had MUD members approach me for the exact numbers that we're dealing with here, the 611 and the 610. And they specifically want that number for their 45 series. Um, one gentleman had an HJ. Um, I did not, and you know, you can see HJ stuff here. Here's an HJ 45. And then um, here's an HJ 45 also, less valve with key. So, but there's also an FJ 45. Um, if you scroll up to the picture, there's your key, for with key, and then you have one without a key, but then there's also a fuel door. So maybe the full fuel door is for a, um, like a troop carrier or something. So there's little, I believe that the person that reproduced those got the part number wrong, and it was supposed to be either a 77031 611 or a 77, um, 031 610 and then later on we come down here and um, you get into 77 310 zone so I think that these were a simple misprint and it's, it's a reproduction part now back to the parts I've rated this part I studied it today for quite a while before I decided to go boldly where no one has gone before with a tech video on the 45 section in the classified ads and I rated these at a strong B plus and a weak E minus, A minus, and I'm going to tell you why. When the key's in, you get a little side to side motion here, okay? 
like that. I'm not sure that a Toyota Genuine parts cap would have a little bit of a, you know, play here. But also, they're not packed with any oil or grease. So, that's why it's an A-. minus. But the keys engage. I did check the keys. All the keys are not the same. They're all clearly a different key code. Every single one of them. None of them matched each other's locks. So, this isn't like a... Um, a knockoff part. This is not a knockoff part and it's not a counterfeit part. This is a faithful reproduction to meet the needs of the people in the Middle East during the dictator times and the war times in the um, early, mid, and late 70s, um, you know, when heads were getting chopped off in the street. Um, not not making a joke about that either. So I think it was done by a local company. Maybe it was done in, like, you know, the Emirates or something and sent over. But uh, I would say that that's probably... Uh, probably the skinny on that um so real quick um two things um i was able to procure several several hundred of these fuel filters they're kyosan standalone brands and they're going to be the uh staple cereal box prize as i put in all my boxes but take a look at this decal on there look at that iridescent beauty that foil decal the kyosan emblem but these are an awesome heavy-duty fuel filter, a trail spare, or simply a conversation piece. But the fact that it comes in a Kyosan box and not a Toyota Genuine Parts box, but it has the Kyos Toyota Genuine Parts number, is sort of fascinating. Kyosan Dinky made in Japan. So these will be cereal box prizes. And lastly, an Easter egg. I've been working on this for some time. Some of you recognize it as an early filler neck for a 40 or a... Um, I don't think it's on 45, but I'm working on my own custom gas cap. And this is a to this is 100% Toyota Genuine Parts. The get in the get the Toyota Genuine Parts gas cap has not been altered anyway. It's vented and it's straight up. Um, I've I've molded two Toyota Genuine Parts together to make one. Um, the, the part number is going to be 77310, and I'm, the last five digits are going to pay homage to, uh, I guess, the the model code of the most commonly applied vehicle. But it's a tight feel. And listen to that. Boom. Um, I also have chains and uh, uh, going on with it goes in the cap. I could show that to you guys later. But that's the Easter egg for the evening. Um, but hopefully some of you guys will pick these up. Um, I stand behind these as a quality reproduction locking gas cap. However, the part number has been misprinted. It should be a 610. A 610 supersedes to a 611. This is Toyota Mac.